Hi everybody, it's time for another bee vlog with Maddie and her mum. Yay! <laughs> so lots of you have been asking for more bee vlogs. To be honest, it's a bit tricky because over the winter, not that much happens in terms of being a beekeeper. But there are some things we need to do that will set the bees up um, for the winter months. And we're going to go through some of those today. I love doing the bees. That one over there, you'll notice, is looking a bit more industrial. And because it's a national hive, it's only a single, single skin. Oh, okay. So in order to give it a little bit more warmth during the winter, yeah. I've made this little silver foil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've actually just put a bit of loft insulation, but you can see the difference between this hive here and then this one is obviously the, um, the pretty outer layer. So it needs this thing over it just to keep it warm, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, hello, bees. Uh, that's my little holes and they, they can come in and out through there so in the winter time just pop that in the bottom there that will stop any uh, mice going in or... mice yeah mice can mice can sometimes go in and then you'll find them literally the next year if you look in yeah um, they don't last very long hello bees now that one i put in earlier just to stop um the wasps going in just to give them a little bit more protection they're all coming oh in they, they know we're here Hi guys, sorry. So to disturb you, we might have to come back and put this in a minute because it's okay. too near them out now. Explain, explain what's going on with this. Right, now this is, you've got the crown board on the top and you've got two bee excluders. There's two holes mm -hmm. and what you do is you put a sugar syrup beader on top. Bees obviously go and get uh, their pollen and make honey from flowers. So why are you feeding them sugar? Because I've taken some sugar. Yeah. Um, I've taken honey. Yeah. You need to replace it. There, there won't be enough to keep them going throughout the winter. I right. Mean, the next time you actually look at the hive might be uh, February when it reaches 12 degrees again. Yeah. So if you take a frame of yeah. honey away, you need to replace it with. So you're kind of repaying the syrup. debt, really. It's sort of you just are, filling yeah. up the excess. But this one is one of our new hives, so I just wanted to make sure they've got plenty of plenty to eat right. to keep them yeah. going through the winter. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be remembering, but we didn't actually take any honey from this hive because right. it's still so new. Um, but equally, we, because it's a new hive a new colony we obviously want to make sure that they've got plenty to eat over the winter months one night when i know it's going to be frosty yeah that's when i'll take that away so, so why why will you take it away when it's frosty well no before it gets frosty before right. they actually sort of settle down more for the winter and at the moment because the weather's so good and the temperature's high there's still some a little bit of food out there yeah so i can keep that in there i won't take that away okay. yet but it'll probably be one day this week i'll take that off put that back on again and that as you know that's designed so that if a bee's trapped in the top here it can go through here and then back into the hive, but it can't oh, come yeah. out. They can hear us. Hi guys, sorry. What I've got for this one is I've got one of these. Ah, so we're just popping in these little wooden blocks by the entrance. Ooh, here we go, activity. Um, just so it stops um, bigger animals uh, and insects, like the wasps going in, and it just keeps it nice and safe um, for the bees inside it. Go on. That's it. That's it. That'll be. Ah, let's see. Right, so that's not good. This little wasp, he can back right off. This, by the way, um, they're not feeding. Look, oh look, they're not in there. So there's, there's just still so many uh, plants around, they just yeah, don't I'm need it, do they? So you're taking the sugar away from them now, are you? Yeah, I'm taking the sugar away because they're not eating it. Don't need it. It's very quiet up this hive. So pop that back in. All done. All done. Closed, that, closed that, for winter. That's closed for winter. Take this off. So we're keeping it nice and compact then, aren't we, really? Can't really see what I'm doing here, guys. I'm sorry. Here we go. In it goes. Yep, there we go. Has it gone in? It might need... You're going to have a look? Oh, oh wait, Mum, wait. It's quite warm. Let's have a look. This is, this is very quiet, this one. <gasps> oh. Yeah, very quiet. There we go. How are they doing? Oh, see, they are still taking the sugar. So we should leave it for them whilst they're still taking it, right? What I might do is, if they're still eating, I'm going to top it up with the sugar from that one. Top up the sugar syrup. Don't worry about the bees, they get out of the way. When we stop feeding them and they sort of finally have enough sugar for the winter months... what what be what, this week, really. Yeah, yeah, what actually happens inside? What Do, do the bees die out? Do they hibernate? Do they just carry on as normal? The cycle carries on. Um, obviously, the, the pr primary thing for them to do is to protect is to keep the the queen warm yeah um and they need to eat but in order to keep they'll actually first and foremost protect the queen and keep her warm and starve oh right yeah uh, rather than go out go and eat okay so they they'll just look after her first yeah. there's still the worker bees the drones everyone just no, the drones are gone drones oh are gone when did the drones they, go they got kicked out in september did they yeah, they don't have any useful 
protection. And they're the boys? They're the boys. And so, so what would the drones usually do? Their, their sole job is to actually mate the Virgin Queen when she goes out right. on her inaugural flight. Okay. Which is very, I've never heard it, but apparently it's very, very loud. And, and the guards happens. and the workers are all female? Yes, all female. Right, if you see, if you see this bee over that here... Look, 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 look. It's just gone in. But you can see how loaded the pollen is on their legs still? Can you see that? There you go, there you go. There you go, land, land, land. Oh, he's got a bit, hasn't he? Oh, look how much he's got, Mum, can you see? Yeah. Just snuggling in there. And that one. And they've got loads. So only one of the hives has stopped taking sugar, so that one's all shut up. And the others still seem to be taking a bit of sugar. It's still quite warm, really, so they're still going to be making the most of it whilst the weather's good. But the moment it gets cold, we'll shut them all up and we'll just leave them alone over winter. <laughs> Quickly, guys, one last thing. It's not just bees we're looking after anymore at the um, moat household. We're actually now keeping an eye out for hedgehogs and we're helping one lady in particular who has... A hogspital is what she calls it, isn't it, Mum? So we're actually feeding hedgehogs that we hope are in our garden and we're encouraging them to potentially come and stay. You can see hiding down there, that's a little hedgehog home. It's got two, a, a second compartment because hedgehogs like to be able to go in and then they can protect themselves by having a second compartment. Do we know if there's any hedgehogs in there? No, I'm, I've not. I've, <laughs> all I know is the food is going. Right, so there you go. So the food is going. Not assuming sure assuming it. it's the hedgehogs that are eating it and not the cats. What I've done is I've put it underneath a box. <laughs> so, that ah. so, so if you do want to feed hedgehogs in your own garden, great idea is if you put a plastic box with a 10 by 15 um, hole cut in the side of it and that way hedgehogs can get through and, um, and well, other animals can't really. Um, cats and dogs and yeah. foxes. Cats and dogs. So hopefully in the future we'll be able to have a video where we can show you hedgehog food banana. They love apparently. And, and raisins, look. Who knew? So dried good. banana. That looks like... Actually, that looks I'd quite edible. That. <laughs> I'd eat dried banana. <laughs> so that's all from us. I guess the bees are going to be quite quiet over the winter. So our next video will probably be a and a And I think we'll show you how we package our honey up. Um, because we'll probably be doing uh, giving some away for Christmas presents. So any questions you have about beekeeping or um, bees, how they make honey, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure that we answer them in our next video. And we will see you very soon. Bye! Bye!